the creationist model claims that all modern kinds of fish have always existed since the first week of life on Earth. Since life began on Earth, there has not been a time where aquatic ecosystems have not supported every modern kind of fish. It is not difficult to find fish in modern uh, aquatic ecosystems, especially the most advanced fish, the teleost bony fish. So therefore, if the creationist model is correct, uh, then modern teleost fish have always existed. And this would provide evidence for the creationist model if modern teleost fish could be found in the oldest rock layers, the Precambrian, the Cambrian, etc. So therefore, since the creationist model claims that all modern kinds of fish have always existed, finding modern kinds of fish in ancient rocks would support this model. The evolutionary model contends that modern groups of fish haven't always existed. So long before any modern fish should be found in the fossil record, there should be both the ancestral fish which should be very simple and primitive, and then also the invertebrates from which the first fish evolved. The intelligent design model would claim, however, that no such transition should occur. In the intelligent design model, complexity is irreducible. It is impossible for an invertebrate to evolve into a fish and for such a si simple fish to then evolve into the modern groups of more complex fish. In intelligent design, this irreducible complexity of the fish body plan is such that it would be impossible to have some, but not all of the features of more complex fish. Any animal which did possess some, but not all features of more complex fish simply uh, would not be able to survive because nothing works unless everything works. This is one of the major tenets of the intelligent design model.